Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be taste testing a new flavor of the Nongshim brand of ramen. Today's flavor is the Nongshim brand's Shin Ramen Kimchi flavor. So I'm going to show you everything up close, the front, the back, the contents. So let's get started. So here it is up close, as you can see. Very colorful, very bright. I'll show you more up close. This is the Nongshim brand, the Shin Ramyun, but kimchi flavor. Over here you can see it is halal certified, made in Korea. Standard amount of 120 grams, very filling. Here are the cooking instructions. I'm going to follow exactly these cooking instructions. I'm not going to add anything of my own, okay, this time. Okay, so let's open this and see what treasures await us. Noodle cake, all broken. So the noodles are made from refined wheat flour, potato starch, palm oil, salt seasoning, yeast extract, soy sauce, garlic, maltodextrin, dextrin, mineral salts, green tea extract. And then we have our flakes. I love how all the colors match with the outside of the packaging. Okay, so what do we have here? We have dried kimchi flake which is cabbage, we have garlic, maltodextrin, ginger, bok choy, carrot, green onions. Then we have the soup base powder. If you have the soup base, which is liquid based, I feel like it has a more intense flavor than the powders. Now the soup base powder consists of seasoning, which is maltodextrin, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, which contains soy, refined wheat, salt. Yes, you can, you can literally see the flakes of salt. Yeast extract, soybean, refined wheat flour, vegetable oil, contains soy, salt, sugar, flavor enhancer, spices, again, maltodextrin, garlic, glucose, black pepper, red pepper, onion, vegetable oil, contains corn, acidity regulator is that number, and thickener, color. Oh, thickener and color, which are these numbers. Okay, so along with the kimchi flavored ramen, I also went ahead and bought kimchi. Yes, actual kimchi, but not fresh. Unfortunately, I, I cannot find fresh kimchi in Pakistan. But I was able to find canned kimchi. Yes. I think this is original kimchi and this is stir fried kimchi. I want to show you like everything up close so you can see properly. This is what it looks like. So the ingredients for the regular kimchi are Chinese cabbage, water, scallion, hot pepper, sugar, salt, garlic, ginger, and good old MSG. And this one is the stir fried kimchi. The ingredients for the stir-fried kimchi are salted napa cabbage, water, onion, brown rice oil, red pepper powder, corn syrup, butter, green onion, sugar, garlic, ginger, flavor enhancer, I think they mean flavor enhancer, good old MSG, disodium guanolate, and disodium inosinate. I hope I said those correctly. Contains milk. Now these were very expensive. All my ED went on this. There's no halal certified written on it. The website that I got it from, they are based in Lahore. This restaurant that, this place that sells these, they're based in Lahore. So these products do not have the halal label on them, but you can see on their website, they have mentioned that this is a halal product. So don't come at me because the sellers are selling it as halal. So let's open the original. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ooh, that smells so good. I love kimchi. I am not, I don't feel like ew about it or anything. Okay, let me just take it out. Ooh, <gasps> that's a lot of water. Oops. Sorry, Nikon, Lisi. So I don't know if it's going to be crispy. I hope it is. But, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mmm, that is crispy. Okay, I, have, I need to stop eating this. This is too good. Ah, kata kata. Now let's look at the stir fried kimchi. I wonder how like, what is the taste difference? I don't know what the taste difference is gonna be. 
بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اوکے یہ لکس سیم smells fried this is not crispy but ooh you know what I actually like this one much better than the original one the stir fried one it just has that extra magic in it oh this is really good uh, and the fermented smell oh, I missed you kimchi so yeah I definitely prefer this one the orange one so much tastier It's just had, it has that stir-fried taste to it, but this is not bad. This is so much crispier. The cabbage has a, a crunch to it. I can't stop eating these. I love this. Oh, I miss kimchi so much. They gave me a free chopstick. <laughs> I didn't use it. I should have used it. Okay, let's try. <laughs> mm. Definitely so much so much crispier. Stir fried. Ah, I need to stop eating. Oh my god. Okay, 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 I'm stopping eating. Really good. Very tasty. Love both of them. Mm, thumbs up. Okay, so I have showed you all the contents of this kimchi flavored ramen. Let's get to the kitchen and cook this up. Follow me. Okay, everyone, so we're here in the kitchen. Okay, now what do we have? We have our bottled water, which is 500 ml. We have our flakes and soup base powder. We have our noodles, chopsticks, pot, frying pan. We have the stir fried kimchi flavor. I am actually going to stir fry it and then we're gonna put it as a side dish, okay? And that's the plating station. Okay, so let's get started. This won't take that much time, so I'm not gonna start with this. Let's cook the noodles and then we can focus on the frying. you go bismillah rahman rahim 500 ml of water let that come to a boil and then we'll add our things okay it's almost come to a boil but not yet okay the water has come to a boil vigorously vigorously which word is that i cannot english okay so let's add our thingies i'm gonna add the noodle first That was really broken. Don't forget all the stragglers. Then I'm gonna add the flakes and soup paste powder. Make sure you mix very well. Detangle the noodles so they cook evenly and properly. We have to leave this for four minutes. See ya in four minutes. So while that's cooking, let's focus on our stir-fried kimchi. Let's turn this on. I'm going to be stir-frying this kimchi that I showed you. It's high heat. So there goes the kimchi. As you can see, it is high heat. Look at that bubbling away. So what am I looking to achieve here by stir frying this? I don't know, kind of like a glossy thickening of the sauce, as you can see there. Now, the noodles are also done. Four minutes are up. It's very soupy. Now it's time to plate. Hey, where did that chicken boti come from? Okay, time to plate. Mmm. Smells so good. Look at the steam going out. Okay, let's eat. 
Look at the dehydrated vegetables. They hydrate it so well. And a very generous amount, as you can see, it's filling up the plate. So that's really good. Good ratio of dehydrated vegetables to the noodles and soup broth. Noodles are on the thin side. Very hot. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim I don't taste any kimchi because I do have kimchi right in front of me. I'm just getting like a vinegary taste in this in these noodles. So kimchi it's part of a high fiber, low calorie and nutrient packed side dish in Korea. Foods that are rich in probiotics aid in maintaining normal digestion and help regulate bowel movements. It's this one is gluten free. No preservatives, it's vegan, it's all natural, healthy, and delicious. You will be amazed by this tangy, tasty superfood without worries about calories or fat. Now, kimchi works great with rice, ramen, or meat. You can use kimchi to add flavor to many kinds of foods. Place kimchi on meats for added flavor. Kimchi is so universal, it can be used in anything. Oh, I can eat this by itself. But we're not reviewing that. I'm sorry, but this just tastes like any noodles that you can find in the market. I don't know like what to say. Like I'm not tasting kimchi at all. Now the noodles are so soft. They're so spongy. And this is not spicy at all. The soup tastes kind of like kimchi, but like very less, like a hint of kimchi. But it really warms you up. It's so good. Kimchi flavor? Nah. -uh. So, what are my final thoughts on these noodles? I would say that these noodles, they do taste like kimchi, but a very muted kimchi. It's not as strong, obviously, their noodle form. Oh, the leg piece. <laughs> this is a roasted leg piece. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. So tasty. Uh, Alhamdulillah. So that's my review. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch some of our videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.